Hello everybody. Today I'm going to scrap these photographs from Christmas Eve with my daughter-in-law's mom. I have that star paper there from Webster's Pages, All That Glitters, and it's called Shimmer. And I think that might be might have been from last year. It's not a paper from this year. I love that paper and when I saw it I'm like I don't care what I do but I need to get that used in a layout this year. I've been really digging into my stash and this is another one of those Christmas stash busting layouts. So hopefully you're not getting tired of Christmas layouts but I do have photographs to, to scrapbook and I have all of my supplies out on my desk right now, all my Christmas supplies out on my desk. So it's really easy for me to just pull things and scrapbook. So I grabbed that red stripe paper from Bella Boulevard. It's the color Chaos Macintosh strands. And I am going, I use that as a photo mat behind the paper. Now, one of the things I want to do is it's feeling like there's not enough color. So I have that green star paper there. That is also from Bella Boulevard. It's from Christmas Cheer and it's called Making Spirits Bright. And I actually got the paper because that green is a hard green to find. So I don't want to quote, waste it just sitting behind a piece of paper. Some, I got them a lot. You see that quite often with me, but most of the times I got them because I'm going to use them somehow in the layout in another spot. Now I needed to cut this star paper down, but what I have to do is I have to cut something off from each of the four sides or it won't end up being even is the best way to explain that. So I'm just doing that trimming and then bringing it back to see how I like the reveal of the um, star paper. So I decide as well that the star paper is not popping off the background enough so I want to put some ink on the edge and if I'm putting ink on the edge of that paper then I also decide I need to put it on the edge of the um, all of the embellishments and also the photo mat and you know all of those pieces I did love that star vellum because I was feeling like I was going to have a star theme with that star paper in some way, shape, or form, but it, it just doesn't work. It's too much and too light behind the photograph there. And then I do have, you can see I have some punches sitting over to my right there thinking that perhaps I could use a star punch somewhere. I'm not sure how that's going to go in. Now I'm tapping that piece there because I don't like the space, all that white space sitting there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my papers, my red and green papers that I've used already, and I'm going to punch some stars from this. And right now I'm looking at this layout and I'm thinking, oh, this is a disaster. This is just not going to look right. I don't like the space in the circle. And then I grabbed that foil paper there. That is from uh, Recollections. I got that at Michael's and I'm trying to figure out how I, what I'm going to do with this layout. I find that piece of chipboard holly from October afternoon. It's from Holiday Style, which is an old collection and it's the chip and stick. So the chip and stick stick board chipboard. And I like how that brings the red and green together with a little bit of the white. And I'm looking at other things that I can do. So I find this very merry tab here and I actually, Sometimes when I do that, I take the back one off. In this particular case, I didn't. I just left it on there. Um, it is a little bit wasteful, but that is also from October afternoon holiday style from the word stickers. That's a couple years old, and if I haven't used it yet, I'm just going to use it the way it is. And I actually like the dimension that that tab has, so I have to remember to do that more often, that I need to look at that. I also have a label sticker there. The green label sticker is from the October Afternoon Very Merry label stickers. And the joy sticker is from the October Afternoon Under the Tree word stickers. Now, I want to have some sort of journaling spot here. And so I find this one from L Studio. It was from a journaling card grab bag that I bought at Thanksgiving. And it says you are loved in a little banner there. So I put that on thinking, okay, 
I kind of like that, but I think I've just created more of a problem because now there's white space, a white card in white space, and yes, I can ink it around the edges, but I'm just, when I'm doing this, I'm just feeling like I'm creating a disaster, and I don't, I don't really love this layout right now. It's getting a little bit better as I put that joy sticker down, but I'm trying to figure out what can I do so there's not so much white space in the center or, you know, in that to the right side of the center, I guess. I do like, though, one of the things I love about this layout is I love how I've taken all the stars and I've kind of scattered them throughout the layout. Now that ink helped the edge of that card, but all of a sudden I see that red stripe paper and realize, wait, I could back that card on that red stripe and that will give it some color to back it. And once I do that, I fall in love with this layout. And I do mean I fall in love with this layout. I really, really love how this turned out in the end. And now you see it just, it's much more impactful. It's getting rid of some of that white space. Um, the stars, the punch stars going around the paper just make a lot more sense. And then, you know, the holly and the red and the green, it just, oh, I, like, I keep saying that. So I've got stars everywhere. I've got star background paper. I have star um, foreground paper, and then I have the punch stars. Now, I need something else up there. I'm thinking about a title, but there's not a lot of room. So I go back to these Maggie Holmes stickers, um, the gold label word stickers, and they were from the style board collection. So they're pretty old. And I find the word, the words little moments, which I really, really like because these are little tiny moments here. And so I think that does a nice job. And again, it eliminates more of that white space. So now I'm just going to work on my bottom cluster there to figure out how I'm going to position that. I don't have a ton of journaling to do on this. I wasn't here. I'm doing this for their book. Um, I wasn't here. And I just want to get the photos recorded for them. So I'm looking at this thinking, I'm not, um, just not kind of loving how much space I have that and that you are loved card. And then I go back to my style board stickers and I find the word happy and really like that and decide, okay, that's cute. And it gets a little bit cute. It looks nice and there's, um, a little bit more gold in that layout, the shiny gold, since I have the shiny gold stars and you know the word stickers go really well with that. So once I do that, I am just in love with this layout. One thing I decided I wanted to do is I wanted to get some of those stars clustered in around the journal, actually in the um, journaling cluster there, but I also had some awkward space between that happy label and the photo. So that's kind of what drove that even to begin with. So I'm playing a little bit with which of the stars I'm going to use. And that, again, once I did that, figured that out, I was like, oh, love, love, love the way this looks. So I'm, again, just kind of playing around, positioning stars as I go. I'm being very careful with that red stripe paper that the stars all go in the same direction with the red stripe so that I don't have a red stripe going, you know, left to right or right to left because um, I think that would be confusing. So now I'm going to take that joy sticker and I'm going to put it up on my foam tape there. You can buy that on Amazon, the big giant roll of foam tape. It lasts, it's lasted me two years already. I have another one waiting in the wings. I do use a lot of foam tape. And then I've decided I want another star on here. Let's 
and again just kind of really loving the way those are looking scattered all around it really brings the colors of the layout all together with all of those scattered stars now what I'm doing here is I went to grab some pop dots because I decided I wanted the stars a couple of the stars to have some dimension so I'm going to choose one one star from each of the kind of star clusters there's sort of four star clusters on this layout and one of each of those is going to get pop dotted so that's what I'm doing now and again I'm being very careful to make sure that those diagonals line up and just kind of deciding which one it's going to be I love that some of the stars are tucked in under elements and some are floating free. All right. And I'm using a square dimensional adhesive here. So all of a sudden I realized, oops, I forgot to ink my stars and a few of the other elements on the page. So I'm going to have to come back and do that, which means stuff that's glued down, I'm going to rip off, <laughs> but it actually is fine in the end. I don't damage anything or, but since the papers and some of the, you know, the journaling card was inked already, I really needed to get those stars inked as well. So that's a little bit tedious for you to watch. This is a really um, cool color green paper. So I, you know, not that I need more Christmas paper, but it's just the perfect, one of the perfect Christmassy greens. And I'm just using my Jenny Bolin fountain pen ink, but Jenny Bolin hasn't made scrapbooking products, much less um, ink in a couple of years for sure. The one thing I don't believe I've told you so far is that Star Punch is from the the bigger one that I use. That smaller one, I'm not sure where that one's from that you can see now, but the lavender one that I used is from Hobby Lobby. And I would say those stars are about an inch across. They make a kind of a nice little size. It's a nice little size there. All right, so I'm just discovering I hadn't glued my photo down, so I need to get that glued down. And now I grabbed these pearls from Recollections. They were from the dollar spot, I think, last year. And I'm just going to add one pearl into every star cluster again, or cluster, you know, group of stars. And that just adds another little dimension and another texture on the layout. And what, when I do that, oh my gosh, I love how this layout turned out. It is one of my favorites that I've made lately. Just playing around with getting things down. There's the, you can see the edge of that punch there. That, that lavender color on the left there. So now I am going on a hunt because I want to journal on this, but I don't want to use black or brown. So I go to find my gold Uniball Signal, Signo pen. And I'm going to use that to journal on this so that the journaling stays nice and light and adds another touch of gold into this layout. Just a little bit more. And at the very end of this, I have a still shot coming up and a couple of detail shots. Hope you are all well. And I will be back with another layout soon. Bye. Bye.